Hello everybody. Um, I thought I might turn this on early to just have a quick little stretch before everyone's ready to go. Um, so yeah, we'll just do that now. So Jimbo and I, Jimbo, my partner in crime, dad is here for a workout as well. Um, so we might just do a little quad stretch before we get started because we are pretty quad dominant and if you've been sitting down on your butt all day, uh, you definitely need to stretch. So coming down on your mat or on a cushion, we're just going to come into a lunge position. One foot forward, take a nice big step, tuck your hips under and just get a nice big stretch in that hip flexor. Shoulders back, chest up. Nice. Yay, I love seeing all of you guys tune in. This is fun. It's good to have some routines of the day. So having a class that I'm going to teach you guys is always good. It breaks up my day a bit, so I'm not going stir crazy in front of the computer. Um, while we're in this stretch, if you've got good balance, you're welcome to reach the arm over the head. So you get that nice stretch down the side as well. So other arm back. Yeah, that's it. Awesome. So you want to be feeling it in this back leg. Just stretch them out. Awesome. We'll swap over to the other side. Big step forward. Nice deep lunge. Tucking the hips under. Reaching out. Only if you've got the balance. Nice, Dad. Awesome. We miss all of you guys a lot. Especially Dad. Misses his 5.30 starts here in the gym every day. <laughs> Nice, nice deep stretch. Awesome, we'll reach over. Coming back to the start, we'll do one more stretch. We'll just do a nice little child's pose. So your knees can come nice and wide on your mat, reaching forward with your hands and sink your hips back. And you can even use the floor, if you kind of creep your hands further along the floor and sink your bum back and push the floor away with your hands, you should be able to get deeper into your hips. Drop your head. Nice. Stay in that position for a little bit longer. Sink that bum down, down. Good. Let's see who's watching. Oh, hi. Lots of staff. Jill, awesome. Kate, of course, Kate's watching. Always. <laughs> All right. All right, Dad, that's it. All right guys, it is half past and we are gonna get started. You only have 20 minutes with me, so we're gonna make you burn. Um, I'm gonna give you easier options and harder options. So you can always go back to the easier option if the hard one I give you is too tricky. Um, don't want any injuries, just really look after yourself um, and just have fun. So first one we're gonna warm up in is a plank. So we're gonna start on our elbows. You want them underneath your shoulders. And I want everybody to start their first plank on their knees. So don't be a show off, I want everyone on their knees. Beautiful, holding there. Always nice to get warmed up. Now this one, I want you to really focus on keeping your hips nice and steady. Now keeping that really nice focused, strong position. Reaching your right arm forward. So you see Dad's gonna lift his arm off the ground, awesome and then bring it back to the center and reach the left arm forward. So I just want you to alternate right to left, holding each one for about two seconds. And what you're really focusing on is that those hips don't wiggle from side to side, really squeeze your bum and keep your hips tucked under. That's why we're doing this one on the knees first. Don't worry, I'll give you all time to try it on your toes as well if you want to show off. It's okay, this is just the first exercise. All right, you guys have 15 more seconds. So if you want to come up on the toes now and make it a little bit trickier, go for it. But remember, this is only exercise one. Don't have to go too hard yet. Oh, there he goes. Dad's always going to try it. And to stop yourself from wiggling, spread your feet apart a little wider if you are on your toes. Good. Almost there. Three, two, one, and relax. Coming down. Awesome. All right. First side plank we're going to do. So everyone, we're going to face towards the camera. Elbow tucked under your shoulder. We're gonna bend the bottom leg. So your bottom leg is at 90 degrees. So my foot's pointing back towards that. And we're gonna push ourselves up off our knee and our elbow. Top arm comes up and we're gonna hold. 
So don't show off yet. Remember, we're going to start easier. We are going to get harder. Don't you worry. So keeping that hold position, really pushing hard into that knee. So push the knee into the ground up. Yeah, so really pushing that knee into the ground. It gets that glute working on the underside. Reach the arm up as high as you can. Tip up really high. Beautiful. Holding that. Now, for the next 20 seconds, I want you to reach with that arm and you're going to scoop underneath you. So twist underneath you there. Yeah, that's it. And then coming back up. So nice and slowly with these ones. If the twist is too hard, ditch the twist and just do your hold. Beautiful. We've got 10 more seconds and then we're going to swap sides. Nice. So that's going to put you off balance a bit. That's the point. Three, two, one. Relax. Flip over to the other side. Ideally, you're still facing me. So just switch the ends of your mat. Bottom leg at 90 degrees. Pop that elbow under your shoulder. Remember, we're pushing off the bottom knee. Really important. Push off. Reach up. Beautiful. Nice. So you might feel a little more fatigued on this side because you've already worked the glute on one side. So it usually feels a bit hard around two. Nice one. We're going to hold for 10 more seconds here. Really reach up high with the arm. Reach up with that hip towards the ceiling. Now we're going to add in that scoop if you did on the other side. So scooping through, twisting your torso to the mat and coming back up. Nice. You like a ballerina then? Oh, look at that beautiful smile. We have 10 more seconds of scoops. It is not a race. You want these scoops to be really slow and controlled. Nice job. You guys have probably realized that I'm really rubbish with timing as well. I do have a clock there, just in case you don't believe me. And down and relax. Good job. All right, now we're gonna come up onto the hands. So if you have sore wrists at any time, you can always come back down onto the elbows and do these exercises on the elbows. So there is something for everyone. Um, we're going to get up on the hands. So when we are on the hands, really try and spread your fingers on the mat. You don't want to be pressing through on your wrists. You want all the fingers taking the load. So you're going to be up on the hands. We're going to start on our knees again. So to get your knee position, you might need to come on your toes, then just drop your knees because you don't want to be like this. So hips down, bum squeeze. Yeah, that shift your way forward. Awesome. Now, from this position, we're going to try what we did with the other one on our elbows. We're going to reach forward with the arm. Right arm forward. Beautiful. And replace the hand. Left arm forward. Replace the hand. So remember, you're trying to keep those hips really steady. So keep going. Right arm. And back. Left arm. And back. Beautiful. Keep the thumb squeezed reaching with those fingertips. Now, you have 30 seconds. Do you want to try it on your toes? If you do, come up onto the toes, otherwise stay on your knees and keep going. Remember, no wiggling in your butt. Pretend you've got a cocktail resting on your lower back. It is not allowed to spill. Espresso, martini maybe, that's my favorite. <laughs> Beautiful, Dad. go for it, yes. 15 seconds, guys, keep reaching nice and slow. Swapping arms, beautiful. We're almost there. Hopefully you're gonna be well warmed up after this one. Three, two, one, and relax. Good job. All right guys, at this point in time, if any of you have a dumbbell lying around or your drink bottle, grab it if you like. This is just a way to make the exercises a little harder by adding just a little bit of weight. It's not heavy. My drink bottle is only half full anyway. So that's got a weight. Uh, you don't need to use the weight though. You can just use your arm. So we're going to go back to that side plank that we had before. So onto our elbows. This time, if you want to make it a little bit harder, feet are either stacked or they're spread apart for a bit of balance. So we're still going to be on the elbow, but you're coming up into a full one. You can drop the knee if you need to, that makes it a little bit easier. Or stack your feet or spread them apart for a bit more balance. That weight should be nice and close because we are going to use it. So coming up into that side plank, awesome. Get your balance. If you're ready for it, grabbing the weight. And instead of scooping, we're just going to bring the weight forward in line with the chest and then back up. In line with the chest 
and back up. Make sure your hips not coming down to the floor. Keep it up. Good. Remember, you don't have to even use the weight. You can just do it with your arm. It's still a tough exercise. Make sure you're not collapsing into your shoulder. Really push away. Reaching forward and back. Nice, guys. Good job. All right. Now, everybody, for the last 10 seconds, we're just going to hold that weight up. Nice. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. He's starting. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Coming down. Good job. It's a hard one, huh? Who, who went with the dumbbell? Yes. Mean. All right, we've got to do the other side, unfortunately. So flip over. Stay in position on this side. Remember, you don't have to use the weight. I don't want any injuries, guys. That's the last thing you want when you're stuck at home. <laughs> All right, feet position. You have them either spread apart, stacked is even harder, or your bottom leg is bent. So try and do the same one you had before. You had your legs out. We're on the elbow. The weight is just hanging out in front of you, or your drink bottle, popping up. Arm up, get your balance first, and then you can pick up that weight slowly. Beautiful. Nice job. I'm sweating. So we're trying to keep that chest open. The elbow has a soft bend in it. We're not locking it out. Soft bend. Try and bring the weight down just to in line with your chest. If you fall over, that's okay, but guys, keep going, keep going. I didn't think I'd tire him out, but he's looking, he's looking like he's getting tired. Good, you got three more to go. Good work, Dad. Two more, you can even drop the weight if you like. Just use your hand for the last two. Last one. And done. <laughs> Good job, all right, Tim. Let's move the weight out of the way. We've definitely warmed up the shoulders, warmed up your core. We're gonna lie on our backs now. We're gonna give the shoulders a little bit of a rest. So, next one. We are gonna do knee into the chest. So let's all squeeze the left knee in to the chest. Now I'm not just going to let you have a nice little stretch here. We are going to turn this into hard work. So first thing we're going to do is just nose to knee crunches. So hands behind your head. All I want you to do is try and get your nose as close to your knee as possible, then release. Nose to knee and release. Nose to knee and release. Now keep going with those. To make them harder, you can lift this foot off the ground and keep it there. Beautiful. Make sure you're getting that full range. So all the way nose to knee and all the way onto the ground. So you're opening up your chest as you come down. Beautiful. Now, the sucky thing about these is that once you do this side, we go straight to the other side and it really burns for round two. Let's go three more. Two. One more, and release. We swap the right through to the other side straight away. Squeeze it in, hands here, let's start. Notice to knee. Some of you are probably pretty flexible, you might be able to touch it. Some of you might be here, it doesn't matter, just give it a whirl, see how far you can get. You're still doing the crunch, you're still working. Foot off the ground or on the ground if you're feeling it in your back. Are you burning yet, Dad? Dying. Dying, good. Yeah, round two, the second side hurts. Beautiful. Squeezing. Let's go. Three, two, one more. And release. Reach out. Have a nice little stretch. Nice breather. Good job. All right. While we're on our backs, guys, next one we're going to do is a hold. Now, this one here, focus is to try and keep your back in a neutral position. So most of us have a little bit of a curve in our lower back when you're lying down. Not everyone's dead flat on the ground. But I don't want that curve in your lower back getting bigger. If it's getting bigger, you've gone too extreme. So you can rein it in. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to practice. So lying on your back. Legs up in our tabletop position, toes pointed. Reach forward with your hands. So if you're wearing a t-shirt, you want to see lots of wrinkles in your t-shirt because that means that you're squeezing tight. If your tummy's bulging up, you'll lose all those wrinkles. 
hold. Reach your fingers forward. If your neck gets low, totally put your hands behind your head, but try and hold here. Tuck your chin in, reach, point your toes. Now, at the moment, you should all have a pretty good back on the ground. Let's try and find our limit. So can you push your feet a little bit further? Just a little bit. Drop your toes a little closer to the ground. Good. Now, if you're still feeling good in this position, why don't you reach your arms back? Good. If you've started to arch, go back to that position. Dad's pretty hardcore, so he's going for it. We've got five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Release. Nice, relax, Dad. Good job. Nice. All right, so we are gonna go for a little bit longer on that one. Now you know your technique. Now, full version is that one. I could probably do that for about one second and then I die, so because we're holding for one minute, you gotta pick your version correctly. So don't go to shell off one if you can't hold that for a minute. Maybe you just do that in the last 10 seconds. I'll let you know when that is. So, one minute guys, we're all gonna do it together. I'll give you a chance to show off at the end. Are you ready? So, lying on your back. Belly in, legs in tabletop, reach your fingers forward and let's hold. Beautiful. Nice one. Tuck in the chin. If your head, neck gets sore, you can pop a hand there for support. Point your toes. So, just so you know, we've done 20 seconds. Nice. Keep breathing through it. It does help if you've got someone to talk to through this. Talk to the pain. How are you going, Dad? Pain. Pain, good. All right, we've got 25 seconds. How are you going to work this last bit? Are you going to go a bit harder? He's going for it. Do you want to try straight legs as well, Dad? Whoa, he's doing it. you got 20 seconds. I lie, it's only 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Oh my gosh. This is why I brought Dad along because he's hardcore at abs and he's showing off. So this is good. What well Dad? <laughs> All right, we are going to go to some more plank ones. You guys are almost over. Remember, this is only 20 minute class. We're just at the 15 minute mark now. So Dad, rolling over onto your side. We're going to do another plank. So this one, this one. So this plank, up on the straight arm with your wrist taking a lot of the load. So if you do have sore wrists, come onto the elbow. So we're going to come up into a full plank. Make sure your arm is under your shoulder, not out there. So coming into this, you can have your feet stacked or apart. So Dad, if you want to come up onto your hand, you can try that one. If you don't feel safe doing this one, you can come onto your elbow. Good, holding that, nice. Now, here's the challenge. Can you lift your top leg? Woo, without falling over, which I did. Holding. Nice. No, nah, can't do it, neither can I. I've fallen over like five times. 10 seconds, do what you can. Either hold, or maybe you're on your elbow. Maybe you're floating the top leg for five, four, three, two, one, and down. Straight through the other side. Graceful this one. Nice strong hands, spread those fingers, or you can do this on your elbow. Are you ready? Come up with your hand down if you did hand last time. Let's try it. So I'm gonna show you the elbow version, guys. You can go on your hand. Ready, and let's go. So same thing. If you're on your elbow, you can that top leg. It's not any easier. Beautiful. Holding there. 20 seconds. Nice, Dad. That's okay, you're doing good. It is wobbly, we've done 15 minutes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and down. Nice job. All right, we got one here. Lying on your backs again. This is an extension of the one we did where we got our nose to our knee. 
We're just trying something a little different. So we practice it before that. So knee in, nose to knee. This time I want you to try and get your elbows to squeeze your knee. Elbows squeezing your knee. So hand behind your head, elbows squeeze your knee. Now we, I've got my left knee, so I'm gonna try and roll all the way over to my left side. All the way over. Then once I get here, I'm gonna try and use my abs to get me back to the front. So rolling all the way over. And then rolling all the way back. Oh, beautiful, so keep going. So you're going to the same side. Your left knee is in, you're rolling to your left side and back. And what you're trying to do is try and keep your elbows and your knee together, not moving separately. Nice, so you're curling into a little ball. The extended leg is off the ground. Good job, yeah, this one sucks, doesn't it? It's good though. One more, one more. So roll all the way over. Using your body as one unit, come back to the front. Good job, swap other side straight away. So swap your legs. Squeeze in close, elbows touching your knee. Rolling over, all the way. commitment to that. Uh, next week you'll have to bring another piece of equipment so I'll let you know with plenty of time. Um, and tomorrow we have a bodyweight burner on our Climb Pit Kirui page so if anyone wants to join in that uh, just flick on over to that page otherwise all these workouts are on YouTube later today. And um, yeah thanks for coming and Rob there was no way we're going to <laughs> bring Wally next time. Thanks!